What's going on, guys? That dude, Siraj. Peace. How you hanging? Um, episode two, car talk. If you want to call it that. I still haven't made it official. I don't have any, like, intro or anything. But, um, but check it out. I got this little dilemma, right? I want another rifle. Um, I want something that's accurate. You know, I want to get back into doing more target shooting. A little bit of bench work. I don't have a lot of money. I've been watching the cost of ammo thanks to people bugging out like Obama's gonna, you know, take everybody's gun. Sorry, I just don't believe it, okay? It's not in his agenda. There's too many of us got guns. They're not gonna try to go through with all this crap. The gun ban failed. Get over it, okay? Stop buying up and stockpiling, you know, so much ammo that you couldn't even shoot this crap in a, you know, a lifetime. And then reserves get short, ammo costs go up, and people like me are pissed off because I go to Walmart or I go to, you know, Green Top, I go to Dick's Sporting Goods, and 20 rounds of 223 ammo cost me $20, okay? I might as well be shooting freaking, I don't know, 30 yard 6 or 270. But hey, that's actually what's on my list here. I want to get a 270. Um, I want to get a Savage. I was thinking, thinking of Savage Axis um, with the camo stock. Um, it's a nice gun. Only thing is, there's no aftermarket for it. I don't understand why common guns that are decent. I mean, plenty of people have vouched that the Savage Axis, uh, formerly the Savage Edge, is shoots like a champ, you know, for 330 dollars out the door, out of most some doors anyway. Okay? And you know, it's like why can't y'all have, you know, a couple different stocks for it? You know? Why can't y'all make a couple different barrels for it? Even though supposedly I heard that the barrels are the same that's used for the uh, Savage 10, you know, so Savage 10, Savage 110, you know, all of those is just long action, short action. But anyway, suppose that they use the same barrels. Haven't found any proof that, you know, that's the case. Like anybody's actually, you know, got a Savage 10 and the Savage Axis and swapped the barrel and it worked. You know, head spacing, checking all of that. But, um, this state troopers are really slowing me down here. Alright, but, uh, but yeah, so the thing was, I was like, okay, I wanted a 270. I wanted something different. I just wanted something that was big. You know, it's a nice, you know, neck down, 30 yard six, long casing, long action, something cool. You know, show the guys who, um, and uh, I wanted something that could reach out. You know, so that's why I was gonna go with the, uh, with the 270 and the Savage Axis. But once again, the cost of ammunition is ridiculous. I mean, we're talking, you know, we're talking probably, you know, 23, 24 dollars a box by the time we get done with uh, with shipping, you know what I mean? And that's that's too much for 20 rounds, you know what I mean? I mean, granted, you know, you're doing target shooting, you slow down a little bit, you're not just blowing through rounds, but still, on a good day at the range, I'm gonna go through, you know, 50, 60 rounds at least, you know? I mean, how much money is that, man? That's, can't be, I can't afford that. So, it was like, okay. I might have to, you know, give up on that and go ahead with the 223. Since one, I already got 223 rounds. Two, they are cheaper. Um, but now, point number three, they're so hard to find. And the ones that you can find cost as much as every other caliber round. I mean, I might as well get a 308 or, you know, 270 or 30 yard six because the crap is so daggone expensive, you know. So, uh, I was thinking, all right, let's let's try something different. Maybe I'll go back to the rim fire. I don't want a 22. I've heard great things about the uh, the 17 HMR. It's something different. I think my wife would like the 17 HMR. Um, and they got a couple, you know, they got a couple nice rifles out that actually have an aftermarket, so I could play with it and you know customize a little bit. So what I came across, of course, first I looked at the Savage. Um, I think it was a 93. 17 R or whatever it was um, that one was nice and you can get you know the, the tactical stock um, which I think is made by boys it's actually called the tactical stock um, but it's a nice stock uh, it's kind of like a, a sniper um, long range target stock rather and uh, boys has it for like $92 and $96 something like that but um, there's a model that, that comes with it now the thing was I found another rifle that I think I like. It's about $210 without the scope. 
made by Marlin. It's the crap TX 17 TR, I believe. But actually, you can get the uh, I think it's just the TX 17 something something heavy barrel. But anyway, this thing comes with without the tactical stock because I can get that aftermarket, you know, um, which would be cheaper actually. With the TX 17, it comes with a 22 inch heavy barrel, and I went to uh, I went to uh, Outdoor World last night just to get my hands on it. They didn't have the 17, they did have the TR-22, which is almost the same thing, just, the, you know, the bolt is just a little bit shorter, you know, I mean, it's just, accommodates the 22 instead of the 17 HMR, so you, you can imagine the difference, it's not really much. Um, but it felt great, I, I liked it, the, the barrel's nice, people have said those things shoot dimes, you know, within 150 yards. Um, we're talking, you know, $200, maybe out, out the door, probably, 230. Um, that's what I'm going to guess. I haven't hit my guy up yet, but I'm going to say maybe 230, 235 out the door. Okay. Now, 17 HMR is, of course, a smaller round. I want to sell that went bang, but you know what? I got enough toys that go bang. Um, I don't like the way ammo is costing nowadays. It's getting ridiculous. You know, it's almost to the point where it's like, you know what, I'm just going to keep my stockpile of 223 sit on it for a while. I got to get practicing, but, you know, I'm just going to hold on to it. Hopefully nothing goes down in the next two years. And when people come back to their senses, ammo prices should hopefully go back down. Retards. But, um, but yeah, so that's, that's what I'm thinking. But 17 HMR, it's not the cheapest round in the world. I mean, we're still talking. In the stores locally, we're looking at, you know, $12 for 50 rounds. You know, that's still a big difference from, you know, 50 cents a round or 70 cents a round or $1.20 cents a round. Okay, so let me know what you guys think. Um, I look for videos of the Marlin TX-17. And there's not a lot of videos about it, which to me is kind of cool. That means not a lot of people have that rifle, you know, and that would be something that, you know, something different that I would have that maybe people aren't, you know, necessarily up on. And I can give my two cents about it, give a little, you know, a little range talk review. But, uh, so that's, that's kind of my, uh, that's kind of my options. I'm looking at the Marlin TX-17. If I want something different and I'm just not going to have, uh, you know, much of a, okay, oh, I'm showing up to a funeral, by the way. And I'm not going to have much of a, uh, you know, a lot of ammo to shoot, then... I will um, maybe go with that 270, but uh, we'll, we'll see here. So anyway, let me get up off this thing. So let me know what you guys think. Should I go with the 17 HMR? Should I go with the 270? Should I go with something with 223? Um, you know, like I said, the big factor is ammo cost. Y'all let me know what you think and get back to me. That dude said, Raj, peace.